This is a GY6 150cc carburetor and a couple things that I wanted to show you. Uh, number one is the automatic choke which is here. This is the most one of the most common parts to fail on these devices. They, uh, it's more like a, a resistor feeds this and there's a plunger inside here that goes down and this adjusts variably um, depending upon what the system sends it. Now, over here is the throttle cable hookup and the throttle cable is completely taken off of my carburetor here. There, there's a cable with a nut on the one side of it and a nut on the other side of it and that's very easily, you want to loosen the nut on this side to remove this completely off, pull, pull your cable through and out. There's a the cable itself hooks up to this feature here. There's a slug that goes in the end here and your cable wraps around and then into the holder. And the two screws secure that. So that's not too difficult. This side of the carburetor is uh, some kind of a diaphragm. I really don't know. Maybe somebody could, else could explain that, but this hose goes basically to ventilation. So anywhere you want to vent that, usually vent it up to the seat, whatever. Um, this side of the carburetor is your intake or your breather side where this hooks up normally to your air box. And there's a filter on that. This barb hooks up to your fuel tank. So fuel in right here. Down here is, is a bowl drain. This just goes out to nowhere. And on the bike itself there's a intake tube that clamps here and it has a hose as well that goes to nowhere. It's just a breather hose and I just tie them all together. By the other side this hose right here and the intake hose together. This one just goes down to drain. Okay, we're gonna just measure this carb. If you need a replacement and you notice that your you know your bike doesn't stay idling or you can't start it properly or just doesn't run right first thing you want to check is your air filter and all that but um, we're gonna just say that this carburetor needs replacement and it did in my case so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a caliper like this and you're gonna take this this side of your caliper and measure the inside mine happened to be uh, 24 millimeters here's the measurement for mine it happens to be 24.26 millimeters on the inside and on the outside I measured the outside as well just in case you look on eBay and you look for a GY6 150cc carb and uh, for about 50 bucks you can get one of these things I think they're cheap enough to just replace the whole darn thing rather than messing around with the automatic choke replacement and, but whatever, you know, if you want, you can rip this thing apart. There's screws on the bottom, uh, which I did. I actually tried cleaning mine, didn't help at all. I think my problem on this carb is right here. But I'm not worried about it. I just pay 50 bucks, get a whole brand new one. Maybe someday it won't be that cheap. But anyway, this top part is the uh, diaphragm. You can take this out and. Uh, basically take the whole carb out and use some car carb cleaner to clean it out every hole and orifice inside this this carb every jet spray through it so that you see clean and clear stuff coming through each hole okay